Interesting to note, back in 1776, Adam Weishaupt, who founded the Illuminati, was a Jesuit at, at uh, the Jesuit uh, University in uh, uh, Germany. And what happened was uh, he was Jewish, and they call him crypto-Jews. Whenever a Jew swears his allegiance to Rome and gets baptized into Rome, if you look up that word crypto-Jew, it tells you that's what the definition means, a Jew that swears an allegiance to Rome. Anyway, it's interesting that the Illuminati basically... Uh, they uh, made sure that they blamed the Jews for everything. That was part of their their great secret, is that every time uh, somebody would see uh, everything that was after 1776, let's get this straight, uh, none of the Jews had any power before 1776. All their power came after 1776, like the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, all those were established after 1776. Thus, everybody blames everything on the Jews. And this was the whole plan of uh, Adam Weishaupt and, and the Illuminati, uh, which is a branch of the uh, Jesuits. And, uh, and so just think about it. Everything that happened after 1776, the Jews are behind everything, so they can turn around and kill, blame the Jews and kill the Jews for everything. And that's the Lord's people is the Jewish, the house of Israel, Judah, where the Jews uh, 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 derive from. Okay, here's the definition of crypto-Jew. It says, crypto-Jew. The term crypto-Jew is also used to describe the descendants of the Jews who still generally secretly maintain some Jewish traditions, often while adhering, often while adhering to other faiths, most commonly Catholicism. And here you see... Uh, here, the big word is secretly. It's called a crypto-Jew who's secretly adhering to Roman Catholicism, basically to Rome's uh, doctrine. So here we see this is the Illuminati plan to get the Jews all persecuted because they're actually, the Jews that are really running the show are actually working for Rome. 